Hey everybody, it's Jim from Tech Love, and so we are in the process of, oops, sorry about that, of cloning a drive on our tiny PC, right over here. So we're cloning the platter drive to the Kingston. We're using a USB to SATA cable on the Kingston drive. And we're using a program called Disk Genius. Pretty decent program. So we'll let that go a bit. I'll swap you around and put you down. Try not to make a pile of noise. There we go. Okay, so it takes a uh, yeah, it's almost 30% done right now. And this is the way I, uh, so I have one platter drive that has Windows on it. I use it on all the tiny PCs, uh, just when I'm testing them to make sure they all work and everything. And then I clone them on uh, clone that onto SSDs. The key is embedded on the motherboard. In, I don't know where it's embedded. I have no idea. But uh, yeah, they activate. They, I have no trouble activating so I don't have to buy a Windows key. Awesome. Like that. So it's almost 50% done. After it finishes, it is going to reboot. And it's going to reboot. Uh, you can set it up to either reboot off the USB drive or not check that, and I keep it unchecked. I let it reboot off the platter drive, and then I'll shut down, remove the platter drive, and install the SSD, and then let it boot off the SSD. Fifty percent done. Getting there. Need to shave. So I don't know uh, how many tech channels you watch. I watch quite a few of them. Um, some of them I, I, I like a lot. I like Adamant IT. Um, he fixes computers in England, I believe. Um, you know, and he works on stuff that everybody can afford, <laughs> which is nice. And then there's uh, Tech Yes City. Love that. Love Brian. I love the parts hunt. That's always fun to watch. It's really nice that graphics cards have gone down in price. Uh, I'll be installing an, an RX 580 on the uh, Z490 motherboard, motherboard, the Rogue Strix, which is right down here in front of me because the iPad's perched upon it. And uh, I, I still paid, what did I think I paid 400 for it. But it's a good card. What car, uh, cards that I, you know, there's a 2060 in the, uh, and I got that at less than 400 bucks in the uh, 5900X. Uh, I like the 1060s, the 6 gig card, the RX 580, that's an 8 gig card, I believe. Yeah, it is 8 gig card. Yeah. You know, I should put my glasses on so I can see. And then I've got a bunch of two gig potato cards that you're paying way too much for, but I don't know what to do with them now. <laughs> now that the uh, hopefully the prices of graphics cards stays down so that they are a little more affordable, so I can put them in my belts, of which I make very little money on. Oh, 70% done, 60, somewhere around there. I'll swap you around in a minute here. I'll show you some of the progress as it's going now, so you can see that. Let me just turn you around. So that is where we're at.
like I say, this is a free program, so I really like it. And normally I use two monitors, but one monitor will shut itself off because I'm booted to Windows Personal Edition. I guess it is. Hopefully this light above my head is not shining in anybody's eyes. And we'll just let that run because I don't edit any of my videos. Start to finish is how we do it. So if I haven't already said it, maybe I have. Yeah, I did already say it. But we're going to reboot. When this, the system is going to reboot on its own. And uh, we've chosen not to reboot to the USB. We're going to re reboot to the platter drive. Then we'll shut down, swap. And we'll stick around for that. So not only does it boot quickly with a U, with a, um, an SSD, it also shuts down a lot faster too. Probably you know, 10 or 15 seconds faster shutting down. I would say the boot is 10 or 15 seconds faster, if not more than that. Almost there. Like I have nothing else to talk about. So you can either look at my ugly mug or look at the screen. I don't know which one you want to look at. Man, I need to shave. I spend too much time in the basement. So, so far it's taken eight minutes. Yeah, because I started the video after I had already started this. So it's got, it says it has a minute and 23 seconds remaining. If I can talk for a minute and 23 seconds. Or I can vape for a minute and 23 seconds. That's a lot of vaping though. I really should cover those pipes behind me, make this place look a little better. But it is, this is this is where I work, so I have my I have dual monitors behind me and another bench. I haven't worked on that one in a while, and then I have this one, which I kind of just created. It was this bench where I actually have a bench and I've got a mouse pad, one of those uh, RGB mouse pads. Pretty cool gimmick, though. <laughs> They're huge. Which I guess isn't so bad. And then I bought this uh, for the top of my table here. I bought this rubber. It's actually a, they call it a barbecue mat that you put under your barbecue. And uh, yeah, it works great as a, although the mouse doesn't slide across it really well. But it does on the mouse pad. Here, I'll switch you around because we're almost done. Yeah, I'll let it get a little further. It's, it's like, I'll wait till it's got one bar left. And then I'll turn you around. And we're down to one bar. So I'll swap you around. Oh, it just finished and now we're rebooting. So it's, as I said, it's still going to boot from the platter drive. Hopefully. Ah, there we go. This is like the third time I've done this video. <laughs> I had problems. I mean, that, go figure, it's uh, the first time I've ever had problems doing this. Which is odd. So be cognizant here of how long it takes to boot Windows. Because this is off the platter drive. Focus. There you go. Okay, we're onto the desktop. All right. I'll switch you back around here. Oh. 
And now we're going to shut down now that everything is loaded, finally. All right. I'm going to shut down the computer. The tiny PC. And then we're going to swap we're going to swap in the uh, SSD. And it shut down. All right. So I'll go ahead and do this. Swap this out. It'll only take 10 seconds here, maybe 20. That drive is warm. We're not going to mount anything. We're just going to go ahead and hook it up here. Make sure it's completely plugged in. All right. I'm going to swap you around and we're going to go ahead and reboot here. And we'll see how long this takes. Okay, power on. Wow, eh? Uh, I think my 15 seconds faster was maybe a little bit off. Maybe 25 seconds or 30 seconds faster. And we're booted into Windows. That's it. And it's done loading and everything. So that's how quick an SSD is. So you can see these drives. Uh, these drives are just a godsend when it comes to uh, some of the old boxes. Even this one being a uh, four core, four thread, 4570T Core i5. Yeah, it's uh, awesome. Anyway, so that's uh, cloning a drive using Disk Genius and going from a platter drive to an SSD. Uh, I wanted to get this done, so this is the second video today. Anyway, have a great day and uh, take care. Bye bye.